Hi guys. Welcome back to Transcend Tangles ASMR. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some tapping on different items and some gripping. Um, gripping is a trigger that I love that I feel like I don't really see in um, a ton of videos. You kind of have to like go searching for it, I feel like. Um, Ziggy ASMR is one that I really love. She does um, manga gripping, which is really, really nice, really dingly. Um, I guess um, like the pages, or like the covers, I mean, kind of make like a sticky sort of sound. Um, and I love that. So um, I'm going to be uh, tapping and gripping on like I have books, some lotion bottles and things here. So uh, let's get into it. The first one this book that I have. This is Stephen King's Dark Tower. Um, this is The Gunslinger, so... If you didn't know, um, apparently... I'm just starting the whole series, but apparently The Dark Tower um, is a lengthy series. There's a lot of books in it. Um, I didn't know that when I picked up this book the first time, but I do really like Stephen King, so I'm excited. I just started it, um, not that far, but um, fun fact, uh, the first date that my husband and I had went on um, a couple years ago when we met each other, we um, actually saw The Dark Tower. It was turned into a movie. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it was not a good movie. <laughs> I mean, it worked out for my husband and I because we are clearly married now, but it was not a good movie. But uh, I still wanted to try to read the book because a lot of times, actually, the majority of the times, the movies are better than the books. And there's a ton of Stephen King books that have been turned into movies that, uh, in my opinion, just are not. Are not good books. So I'm gonna do some fast tapping in here too. Um, this is one that um, books so far is pretty good. Like I said, I'm really not very far, so I can't give too much of an opinion. All right. Um, next, I have this lotion bottle. I think I might put some on. Maybe it'll make my gripping sounds a little better. This is just a suave Coco Shea nourishing lotion. It's almost empty as you can see. I've had it for a while. Um, but I might put some more of this on. Um, I have some more books down here and I think um, when you put lotion on it kind of makes like the grippy sounds a little better. So. Personally, when I'm watching ASMR, like a mix of like slow, like meticulous gripping and then switching to like fast, I just like the changing of speeds, I think. So, um, I'm still kind of new to making ASMR, I'm not new to watching it, I've been watching ASMR for years, but um, I'd love to hear like what you guys like as far as um gripping and tapping like fast or slow or like really like meticulous like sometimes I feel like when you do like individual finger gripping like one at a time is like really nice I think maybe it's like the movement of it too um, but again <clears throat> sorry if you can hear any background noise there are um, like other TVs playing in my house downstairs um, but I try to close I have many doors like it, so hopefully it's not too bad. Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit more of this on and then grab um, another book that I have here. Okay. So 
as I mentioned um, in I think the first video I ever made, which wasn't that long ago, um, but I am pregnant. Um, literally my due date is in um, like a week, like, uh, like a week and a half, not even. Um, because of that, uh, I've been watching a lot of pregnancy too and um, reading a lot of books. So one of them is this book. Um, it was called The Diaper Free Baby. Diaper Free Baby. And um, basically it's just a practice where, um, I mean, I'm not gonna pretend to be an expert. I literally, uh, this is my first uh, infant I'll ever be taken care of, so I've never tried it. I don't actually know anyone in person who has tried this method, so like I said, I, I can't tell you if it works. Um, I have no tips or tricks, <laughs> but from what I've been reading anyway, um, apparently it's where you just kind of like monitor your baby's uh, like bathroom habits, like from infancy, so you can pay attention to kind of like what they do right before they go to the bathroom, um, or like how they're acting as they get fussy, or the times of the day, and essentially you um, use like a sound or uh, like a sign language for bathroom or potty, and um, you can basically potty train your infant from birth. So, I don't know. I said I don't know anyone that's done it, um, but it seemed really interesting to me, um, and I figured if I try it and it works, that would be fantastic, and if I try it and it doesn't work, then I'll just go back to doing what the normal, um, traditional thing is, where they're in diapers and then you potty train them when they're a little older, so I figured what's the harm. You know, I might as well give it a shot. Um, I'll most likely be home for a long while taking care of this baby, so um, I'll give it a shot. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, oh well. Um, it was a pretty long book, but the text is kind of big. Um, but there were like a lot of sections of not. I don't want to say nonsense because it's definitely not nonsense, but it was just like, I really wanted to just like know like, okay, how do I do it? And there was so many sections that were like, um, rather than telling you how to do it, it was just like, um, like moms kind of chiming in about like the judgment that they got and that they received. From trying this and how like you shouldn't get into that which like I agree to but like I agree with sorry but I just wanted to know how to do it so <laughs> there are a lot of sections I'm not gonna lie that I skipped um so I didn't read this whole thing but I read a lot of it anyway let's move on um next I have a bottle this is um a Victoria's Secret a uh, fragrance mist called Don't Quit Your Daydream. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love liquid sounds. What I'm exactly doing right now, I don't love them. I don't hate it when it's like a little bit in a video, but I don't love it. I really don't. So I keep those to a minimum and I'll just do like some tapping on it. Again, some gripping. Um, but this is one that I've had for a while. It smells really good. Um, back uh, is like a little description of what it smells like. It says warm sands, uh, coconut milk, endless sky, going places. Okay, so maybe endless sky and going places aren't really fragrances. Actually, I guess neither is warm sand. You don't. I don't really know what the back is for. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I'm sure lots of people know. I feel like fragrance mists are like, they smell good for like a minute and then, like, you can't smell them anymore. It's not really a perfume, you know? But, I 
Maybe in a video I should get like more rings I can put on. Um, I'll do like a ring, like hand movements with rings video or something. Like that could be fun. I have so many like um, ideas of things that I want to do. Um, like I said, I'm just starting. So I have so many um, different videos I want to try to do. So if you have any um, particular that you would like that I could try, um, I'd love to. Moving on. So I have a Home Depot gift card. This is, uh, we had a housewarming kind of baby shower party all in one. Um, so not only do we get like normal like um, baby shower kind of gifts, um, we also got um, some like decorations and things for the house and of course along with that um, my husband ended up getting this gift card for Home Depot which is great. If anybody out there is um, a homeowner watching this you know that um, the list of like house projects to get done or things to fix or like things you want to do to your house is never ending. Literally never ending. So actually this is up here but it really should go in the trash because it's already been spent i think i, I honestly think i mean it's on our home depot account but i think there's like literally 20 cents on it so um okay next i have this bottle again of lotion Let's put some more on now my hands are about to be moisturized <laughs> but this one is the palmer's cocoa butter formula it's supposed to help with stretch marks um it's just a really nourishing lotion oh, i like the way this sounds a lot you should also let me know i personally am a huge fan of fingertip tapping not necessarily Nail stretching or tapping. Not that I think fingernail tapping is bad, but I like fingertip tapping and scratching better. Yeah, I really like the way this sounds like I haven't been talking too much to this one because I feel like this is this one's really relaxing. If I do another um well I guess not if, but when I do another like tapping video, I feel like I'm gonna glue this again. This is like it's almost empty and I wonder if that's why it's making a difference. I don't really know. another book. Sorry, I almost dropped that. This one's called Simple and Safe Baby Lead Weaning. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't read this one yet. Um, but I did order it for myself off of my baby registry. Um, and... of it but essentially it's um just a, like a method of uh weaning your baby onto like actual 
like eating foods and not necessarily just like mushed up baby food. Um, so I plan to read this one. I hope, um, I hope it works out basically. It's like, um, you can start feeding your baby like what you're eating. I mean, I know there's restrictions. Obviously, you're not going to feed your baby like spicy foods or anything that's like super salty or anything like that, but you can start um, getting them introduced to regular foods and vegetables and things like that rather than just eating mushed up baby food. But again, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And if it does, awesome. I have a. Um, bullet like a baby bullet that I had gotten from um, one of my cousins actually so um, if anything I hope to try to make my own baby food if um, you know it comes to that but like I said um, this will be my first infant that I'm taking care of so um, and I don't think that they'll be eating foods like that for a while anyway um, be at least a little bit that's why I haven't read this one just yet um, I was focusing on the other uh, like diaper ones and stuff like that so we'll see if anybody's tried baby lead weaning or who's currently doing it or yeah I guess whether you had success with it or not I'd love to hear your experience again I don't know anyone in person who's done it I've watched some YouTube videos and stuff but that's about it sound and the book's like a little bit open. But anyway, um, these were all the items that I brought for this video. Um, if you like what you see, then please feel free to give me uh, a like and um, subscribe if you want to see more. I'd love to see you guys again in the next one and like i've been saying i want to make a ton of more videos i have a lot more like ideas and plans so um stay tuned for that bye